morning dear students today we are going to see uh, the origin of sexual reproduction in the last class we have learned about the role of nucleus in the development and morphogenesis uh, this is a part of uh, introductory module of developmental biology first we need to understand what is the difference between reproduction and sex what is reproduction reproduction is simply the creation of new individuals that means if we need to if we can say uh, reproduction happened in the case of an organism there should be an increase in their number only then we can uh, consider it as a reproduction okay and what is sex sex is simply the mixing up of genes Uh, available from two different uh, individuals and as a result of that mixing a new arrangement also possible there that process is called as sex it is simply the mixing up mixing up of genes available from two different individuals so i hope uh, what is reproduction what is sex what is the difference it is clear to you then there exists two situations what are those situation uh, in some organisms uh, it is possible to have reproduction in the absence of sex uh, and this is a characteristics of organisms which is reproducing by the process called fission what is fission look in this picture uh, fission means that cell itself uh, get elongated is genetic material replicated and then uh, the uh, that uh, cell membrane uh, furrowed and uh, uh, later divided into two uh, individual cells here reproduction is occur but there is no mixing up of genes mixing up of genes between two individuals so here sex is absent okay so such type of uh su such type of process also exist in some organisms what condition reproduction in the absence of sex even in the absence of sex reproduction is happening then next condition uh, that also um, uh, occurring in some organism sex without the reproduction without the reproduction sex is happening mixing up of the genes occurring and this is common uh, among unicellular organisms in bacteria also this type of uh, uh, the, uh, this sex without reproduction is happening that is occurring with the help of sex pili okay uh, and, uh, in this section i am not going to explain uh, the process of uh, that genetic material transfer with the help of sex pili the entire process i have explained in another video uh, in fifth sem bsc zoology okay so for an example to understand sex without reproduction we are considering um, protist and from the protist specifically we are considering paramecia next we are going to see what is uh, happening in paramecia how their uh, sex is occurring without reproduction that we are going to see next in paramecia reproduction achieved through fission reproduction is happening that is by fission and uh, sex is occurring through conjugation so uh, these are two paramecia and they come closer and as it comes closer its oral apparatus um, get united to form a cytoplasmic channel here okay and in the meanwhile uh, what happens that my macro nucleus before that i need to familiarize you about two different types of nucleus here uh, the paramecium have one macro nucleus and one micro nucleus okay uh, then as it comes meet together a cytoplasmic connection is forming there and later 
the macronucleus degenerates that is the next change after the macronucleus degenerate the left micronuclei undergoes meiotic division meiotic division and as a result four haploid micronuclei is forming in each paramecia okay and among the formed eight haploid micronuclei all but one degenerate means all the rest three among the four degenerate by uh, uh, keeping only one as intact okay and what next is going to happen to this uh, remaining single micro nuclei haploid look this is haploid also that is also very important this is haploid what is going to happen this one yes it undergoes a division uh, to produce two micro nuclei and its name also distinct uh, one is a stationary i will write here one is a stationary micro nuclei and another one is called uh, migratory micro nuclei okay and the migratory nuclei that is present in each paramecium moves to its counterpart through that cytoplasmic channel okay by that way exchange of genetic material mixing up of genetic material is happening there okay then what happens these two micronuclei combine each other to form a diploid micronuclei and this diploid micronuclei then again undergoes mitosis not meiosis undergoes mitosis uh, to form one macronuclei one micro nuclei is forming mitotically that means they are diploid and here up to this stage there is no reproduction but sex is happening okay in the earlier uh, slides we have seen that uh, the two significant process that is sex and reproduction is taking place uh, in single that means uh, in some cases reproduction is taking place and in some other uh, organisms sex is taking place uh, here we are going to see in this slide uh, both the sex and reproduction is taking place in lower forms in unicellular forms uh, the example we consider here is chlamydomonas that i am going to explain in this slide uh, chlamydomonas it is haploid uh, cell types and their excess plus uh, mating type and minus mating type okay and uh, when these two different types meet together they come closer and they recognize each other how the recognition is happening that is with the help of the coiling entanglement of their flagella they touch each other recognize each other and they come together okay then after that the plus mating type plus mating type initiate the formation of a fertilization fertilization tube fertilization tube okay uh, which mating type initiate uh, the formation of fertilization tube the plus mating type okay there's a uh, next going to happen here 
that the fertilization tube is forming and after forming the fertilization tube these two mating types fuse together after combining its cytoplasm and all contents okay and how, one more point we need to understand here is that how that uh, fertilization tube is forming it is occurring because of the polymerization of actin monomers actin monomers through uh, such type of monomers polymerization here this fertilization tube is forming okay then after forming that fertilization tube uh, they fuse each other and uh, in this picture we can see that uh, both the cytoplasm completely fuse uh, is having two haploid nucleus uh, because the chlamydomonas in the beginning time it is a haploid cell and uh, as it uh, fuse together both haploid nucleus come together that we can see here and then uh, that two haploid nucleus fuse each other to form a diploid cycle and this is the only diploid stage in its life cycle okay clear then this diploid nucleus undergoes meiosis to form four haploid nuclei four haploid nuclei and later uh, from this uh, um, after this meiosis um, what generated four mating types among them two will be plus and two will be minus okay and some additional points also we need to understand that uh, important thing is that here we uh, found that sex and reproduction both occur in chlamydomonas and uh, some additional points i told that we need to understand here are here there is no differentiation there is no difference be between the gametes gametes means male gamete and female gamete we know that uh, as uh, the evolution progress um, uh, in in uh, modern times there uh, the gametes how male gamete and female gamete how uh, so much difference in its morphology if we consider our uh, sperm and egg that itself um, a distinct uh, um, very clear differences exist between uh, two types of gametes but here in chlamydomonas in the initial time in the initial time of evolution there is no such demarcated differences between the gametes that's one point and also the process uh, mitosis and meiosis mitosis and meiosis and that uh, process is not perfect in the initial time in the initial stages of evolution uh, as the evolution progress the, these two process become more perfect okay and one more additional uh, information is that uh, with the advent of more and more multicellular organism the importance of intercorporation intercellular corporation uh, that means intercellular corporation between a male and female gamete uh, intercellular corporation between two gametes that becomes more and more significant okay so uh, these are the things we need to remember um, along with the evolution of sexual reproduction okay with this we finish today's class and section thank you I'm an icon, man. Hey, my girl about a 10. I should fuck her in the best.